OK, now we kind of see where they're going to be. And my trick is to turn the amount down to zero. I was like, where do they go? Well, they disappeared because we're not, we're not producing any yet. I'm going to turn the segments down to three. OK, so you're saying, where are the eyebrows at? Well, this is where the magic happens. So we'll go ahead and set editable. And now we go into particle mode. Press N, which brings up the particle edit properties. And we're going to add. Now, go to where your eyebrows are going to be. Make sure your strength is 1. And just click and add your individual hairs across where they're going to be as the eyebrow. I find that this way is you have a lot more control than just uh, setting the amount because the amount just kind of puts them in there randomly. But this way, you can kind of shape the base shape of the eyebrow the way you want to. Go ahead and do it on both sides. Of course, you can always get a lot more detailed than this. I'm just kind of just filling up the area here. But uh, on my actual model that you saw at the beginning, I kind of just did, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, on down, and then fade it into two, and then fade it into one, etc. But like I said, for here, I'll just uh, just add some and just to fill up the space. Okay, and I'll go ahead and add some more over here. Okay, and also if you just click and hold and drag. It'll add them as you go, and you can just kind of draw them in there. There you go. All right, so now we have the basic shape of the eyebrows. Let's go ahead and add a few more. All right, that's good. All right, so here's what they look like now. Go ahead and switch into point select mode, so you can kind of see the, the control points of them. And we're going to comb, go up to edit, the, the particle edit properties, select comb, and just uh, click and drag, and it'll comb them over. There we go. Go on this side, too. Just kind of take the eyebrows to the... You know what? Let me back up some. These eyebrows are a little too long, so I'm going to control Z out of here, go back to where they before they were combed, and they're a little too long. You don't see many people with long eyebrows like this, except for like uh, old people and the Shaolin masters and all the kung fu movies. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down some. So just grab the cut, and it's like dragging scissors across there, except there's no mess to sweep up when you're done. So just real short, about uh, a half inch, or if you're metric, a centimeter, relatively speaking, of course. Just cut them all relatively the same length. And there we go. Okay, now we will grab the comb. And just comb them. Good. Comb them. That's good. They're kind of just laid over. Just, but you might want to style it. Like my personal eyebrows on my face kind of splay up at the in the middle. And then they kind of lay down as they go down, so we'll kind of do that here. Okay. Same here, splay up. There we go. Okay, so it looks good from the front, but if you kind of look down, they're still kind of laying flat against the head. So what we'll want to do is puff them up. Now just grab the puff, make sure it's add. My setting's about 50-50. That usually works pretty well for me. And just kind of, just kind of drag it over there. Click and drag. And it puffs them up so they stand up from the surface. So, um, there we go. And there we go. All right. So now I'll go back to object mode, and uh, this is kind of how they're going to look. Kind of weird looking right here. Let's see. Let's go back into the particle mode and see if we can't fix that. Another. Go ahead and set the draw steps up a little bit. That'll make them a little smoother. Go ahead and calm them back. There we go. Kind of weird over here, too. Okay. Now back to object mode.
There we go. Now it's looking better. Okay. So now what you're seeing is all the all the parent hairs that I've drawn. It's kind of kind of sparse. So we will turn on the children. We want to uh, emit them from the faces. And now it's emitting in the viewport ten children per parent. So it's basically for every parent you see, there's there's ten children around it. So you're basically seeing you know eleven hairs for each one that you drew in earlier. Okay, so that helps out because now we can see that we're still laying pretty flat over here. So we're going to go back into particle mode and we're going to puff them up again. Okay. Puff them up. Okay. Back to object. And that's a little better. And uh, maybe I cut them too short, but that's easy to fix. Go back to particle, and uh, instead of cut, go to length, and you want to grow them out a little bit. So just uh, just kind of drag and click and drag over them. It's like uh, when you puffed them up. So just gonna make them grow out longer. Okay, back to object. Okay, now that's looking better. Still looks a little little weird, but uh, you get the idea. Okay. Okay, now like I said, it's showing 10, 10 per parent, but it's going to render 100 per parent. We don't want that because then they'd be really, really thick, bushy eyebrows, and we just want just regular eyebrows. So let's go ahead and set the render amount down to 10 also. And uh, I'm going to switch to camera view, and I'm going to render, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, there's the eyebrows and, and the eyeballs because they're separate. And it's just showing the eyebrows because what I forgot to do is set it to render in the visualization. It's going to render the emitter also, which is the, the mesh. So now I've, I've set that on, and now it's going to render everything. So F12 renders. There we go. There's the head, and there's the eyebrows. Okay, yeah, they're kind of thick and bushy, aren't they? Let's go ahead and change the amount, render amount. Let's make it 7 for each parent. Go ahead and change the display amount to 7, too, so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, go ahead and render it again. I'm going to move the camera in a little closer. What I've done with the camera is I put an empty in the scene, and I made the camera track to the empty so I can control where it's pointing at a lot easier. Just kind of move things around, zoom in. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Okay. Now, 12, see what this one looks like. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, you can kind of see the squared shape from the, the shape of the the eyebrow vertex group that I've made uh, but you can kind of play with that if you want to okay so it looks it looks decent okay but it's still a little dark a little thick for my taste so I'm gonna go back to the materials tab make sure your model selected and what I'm gonna do is back in the texture area remember we had this at 24 percent I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down to say 11 percent. Now we will go ahead and render it again. See if that helps out. And it helped a little, not too much, but it helped a little. And that's basically how you do eyebrows. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or just go to my website and, and use the contact me form. My website is hammerdave.com. Thank you for watching this tutorial and hopefully you will learn something from it.